wanna elevate you yeah. higher than you've ever been. So like when you make that other shit for methods and ornamental and physical tip, you be my highness, reciprocate, cause everything you get to me is priceless. No other one before you when I put that on my light seat. You know your girl will trade up the word to be your wife. Yeah. Hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mona Rian. Today I'm going to be telling you the things that you need to keep in your bag this summer and basically the things that I keep in my bag usually and then plus some other things that are summer-esque. You know, I bought a couple things and let me just show y'all. The three bags that I plan on using a lot this summer is this one, which I bought last year or the year before. It's just a regular little mini bag, but it's like a larger mini bag and I really like it because it's black and it's plain and all the shies are shaggling out it was five dollars so yeah then we have this beauty that I'm probably gonna be using a lot because I am literally obsessed with this bag like it is just so cute I love it and I also bought a tote bag recently because you know i'm trying to be into that whole streetwear-esque type of style so we did a tote bag and i like this so obviously not all of the things will be able to fit in this bag but these two bags will be able to hold more obviously this one will hold the most but without further ado let's get into the video so we're in a panoramic might as well have some hand sanitizer this one is from bath and body works this one is old because you could tell it's old because of the shape of the container uh, i don't even like how this smells so i bought a new one just a regular hand sanitizer and we're in a panoramic you might as well have hand sanitizer on deck i'm gonna put everything into this bag to show y'all well almost everything into this bag to show y'all that it could really hold a lot of stuff in here so masks i have a lot i mean i need to get more plain black ones but i, I have black white gray two bar widows ones a nike one a jordan one but yeah i try to keep an extra mask in my bag just in case or like put an extra mask in my pockets just in case i for going out and i forget to put one on so there's always one extra there next we have gum and mints I didn't open this yet. I didn't open any of them yet, but I like TikToks. I had different gum. I bought the stuff for this video last week and I ate all of the gum because I have an addiction to gum and it, well, I gave one to my person, a pack. But like, I, gum don't last long for me. So it's best that I have the mints and TikToks don't last long for me either. But I also have like these brown mints that I got from, they're um, Barbados brown mints beige and brown mints to me that's what they are next we have perfume usually whatever because i have that whole sample thing check out my fragrance discovery if you haven't seen that already but i have a whole bunch of samples so i just use those i put drop one in my bag if i'm using one or now that i have the rebel fleur by rihanna and i got the gift set it came with a mini so i also have this so i'm probably going to be using this in my bag especially if i'm going to be using this a lot i love how it smells by the way it smells really good and it's like a little spray so definitely perfect for your bag lip gloss now i ran out of bliss text i can't find any of the one that i want in the store which is the circle one because i used all of it that's my second time finishing a whole bliss text without losing it accomplishments in life so these are the other bliss text that i use i have two of them i don't know why i guess because every spring summer i end up buying another one even if i probably only finished one and i had like roughly six of them but these are the only two that i currently have and this is the orange mango blast y'all know me i am obsessed with mango my shower routine is like literally if i could turn into a mango i would so i'm gonna put one in the bag and then for lip glosses i have these the three that i'm currently using even though i have a lot and a lot of them are open but these are the ones that i usually seem to grab and drop in my bag is the mango the Broadway Mango Lip Butter 
Then we have RK by Kiss, which is the hydrating lip oil. It's the cannabis sativa, whatever. No, there's no weed in it. Um, and then there's the Aloe Vera by Magic Collection. These are three different brands. And I don't know me, I love the mango one. I, this first one dropped my back, so I'm gonna put two of them because I usually have two of them in there. And then I also usually walk around with my mini. Should I? I should really give y'all a, a lip gloss collection video, but this is my mini fussy. I love fussy. I had the bigger one and I used all of it and I need to stop myself from using all of this because I'd be really, really upset. I'm gonna go back and buy me a bigger one. But I have the holiday set from 2019. 2020. 2020? No, 2019. Yeah, so it came with the mini fussy and this is my favorite one out of all of the lip glosses that I've tried. Drop that on the bag. Extra hair ties. I usually keep around two, but when I was skinning out my bag just now, there's only one. But I usually keep at least minimum two, sometimes three, because what if it pops? What if you need to tie up a shirt? Like, like I always gotta keep a couple on me. Next. This might be old fashioned, but I keep a pen in my bag. You never know if you're gonna need it. You don't know if you have to write something down. You don't know if you gotta sign something. I always try to keep a pen in my bag. Like I have like a pen in all of my bags just sitting there because I like to keep a pen in my bag. Don't matter which type of bag I'm taking out, there must be a pen in it. You don't really need to keep this in your bag on a regular day, but if you're going to the beach, I would recommend having a mini sunscreen. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch Oil Free Sunscreen and it's 30 SPF. And um, when I tested it, it didn't really leave like a really bad white cast. Once you rub it in, I'm not even going outside. This is a damn shame. I'm wasting the damn thing. And I'm not even sure if I'm allergic to it. It smells familiar. I don't think so. I've used I think I've used this before. I don't remember if I had other reaction or not. It smells familiar. I think my niece used to use this, but um Yeah, it doesn't leave a white cast, so I, I wouldn't mind using it on my face. I like how it smells. But yeah, I'm gonna put that in the bag. Well, if you're talking about sunscreen, we might as well talk about lotion. I had this dotty stinking oh eat English. I had this dotty stinking EOS thing that once all the cream was gone, I used to take other creams, refill it, even though I don't even remember how to pop this off. I used to like literally squeeze it in, but I am gone with those days. Uh, someone at my school had this and I used it on my hand and it wasn't bad. But you know, when you're using all that um, hand sanitizer, your hands get gross and dry out, so I, I keep lotion on me. Next we have, this is so cute, y'all know I'm obsessed with my Dove products. This is a mini um, Dove deodorant. I've never tried the cucumber before. I love cucumbers as well. Cucumbers are a talented concoction. Yeah, and it smells good. I didn't use it on my pits yet. But it's a 48 hour anti perspirant. This is so cute. Like, you just drop this in any size bag. This could even fit in this bag because this is what bag I had it in just now. Tissues. Sometimes these allergies, these spring allergies, these late spring, early summer allergies, I don't know what's going on, but anytime I'm outside, I come in and I feel like I'm dying. So. And I'm rubbing out my nose. It's best to use Kleenex and not toilet paper because that's harsh on your nose. And at least Kleenex is a little more gentle. So I have like a whole, about a whole pack of these and I've been using these instead of just random pieces of paper and stuff. Toilet paper. <laughs> Next. This is more so if I'm carrying out the tote bag because I'm probably doing more stuff. 
that's when I would use these but wet wipes are good to just clean out the area I have hand sanitizer in this bag so I don't really need it I would definitely this is definitely staying in my tool bag for sure I have this little pouch it has band-aids because you never know you might bust your um you bust your tabernacle and you want uh, don't listen to me but yeah and i have panty liners in here because why not usually if i'm taking out my tote bag i don't really carry the stuff that's in here i recently put these band-aids in here i would just put like my keys car important stuff in here and then clip it on with my airpod case but um not me forgetting something next i have my painkillers i have my tylenol it's this little cute little travel spice situation easy to go if you have a little cramp have a headache next you have your nail clipper because sometimes you got little stubborn hangnails and they can be extremely painful so like I don't like it, so I gotta keep a um, nail clip on me so that I don't ever have to struggle like that. I'm gonna put this in here. Now, I'm usually wearing sunglasses, but if it's not sunny at the moment, I'll still put sunglasses in my bag because, like, I like sunglasses, as you can tell. And sunglasses just be sunglasses that I love me some sunglasses. So I usually, ooh, I usually keep a black pair in my bag. Airpods, one is currently in my ear, but the case is really small. I could either hook it on the side, because this bag didn't want to come with straps. Then again, it was $5. Or I could place it inside the bag, but I'm gonna hook it on the side because there's already lots of stuff inside. I would say a snack, but I have gum and TikToks and mints. So I don't really need a snack. But if I was bringing my tote bag and I'm going somewhere far, I would load it up with some snacks. Water can't really fit in this bag. But again, that's for my tote bag. If I'm going out and you know, it's going to be hot, you can't be dehydrated and hot. That's not cute. Dehydration is not cute. Next, we have power banks and your charger cable because I don't, I don't like when my phone is near death. So, uh, if I'm not bringing both, I have usually have one. I don't leave house without any. I try not to leave the house without a power bank and my charger because it's gross. Don't nobody like a dead phone. When am I supposed to occupy myself with? the air next we have my keys because how am I supposed to get back inside if I don't have my keys and then you know my card I don't want to show y'all that but if it was that time of the month I would have my pads sometimes I carry this which is eyeglass cleaner because I don't like foggy glasses and my inhaler because of allergy season. And I like to breathe through my nostrils, not have them all congested and cold. And um, I'm going somewhere where I need an ID because I don't have my driver's license. I will use my passport, which is bad because I should probably get my license instead of being an 18 year old with no license. But, um, I could also get an ID card, but with COVID, I just haven't done anything, so. Also, right now, we're using my passport, but I'm gonna go get the ID card and my license. Well, my mother always told me that I should always walk with Bex money. Bex money is the money for me to get home. I, frankly, don't carry change or anything like that. So, my Vex money is my Presto card, which is my bus card. So, if I get Vex, I will take the transit home. That's all I have for this video. 
bag is fairly fairly full. It's bursting at the seams, but it, it, it holds everything. That's all for this video. I hope you found some of these tips, suggestions um, useful. Keep some of this stuff in your bag this summer that you can say a hot girl and not be a mess. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.